Welcome to this quick Webflow tutorial. Today, we'll walk you through the steps to create a variant from a component. For this example, we'll use a button as our component. Let's get started. Step 1. Create a component. The first step is to create a component. For this tutorial, we've made a simple button component. Now, let's say we want to create a secondary button style from this base button. Step 2. Add a variant to the button. Next, we'll add a variant to our button. Here's how. Go to the Style panel and click on the Component Variant section. Then, click the plus icon to add a new variant. Name the variant however you like. Here, I'm calling it Secondary. While we're at it, let's rename the base variant to Primary for better clarity. Step 3. Style the Secondary Variant. Once the variant is added, select the Secondary Variant and start styling the button. Adjust it to suit your needs. You can tweak colors, sizes, borders, whatever fits your design. For this tutorial, I'll just make a few adjustments, but you can go as creative as you want. Step 4. Final Touches in the Props Panel For the final step, head to the Props Panel. Name the property and organize the group. In our case, we'll name the property Button Style and set the group name as Variants. This keeps everything neat and easy to manage. And there you have it. You've created a button variant in Webflow with just a few simple steps. We hope you found this mini tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Webflow tips and tricks. See you in the next one.